Logan Paul Does Arabia will not be shown tonight, so that we may bring you this. So you're in the mood for a soft pretzel. Here's what you do. Get in your car, drive down to your local mall, park, locate and walk to the pretzel stand, and buy one. And that's what you do if you want a soft baked pretzel. Now all is practical is assuming you are close to a mall, your mall's parking garage does not charge for parking, and that is of course you have a car. To complicate it, well, let's try the other convoluted way. I got Germany to thank for so many great things. Great cars, awesome beer, and some of the most hilarious and charismatic people on earth. Also pretzels. And in the German tradition, we must be punctual and get started right now. We will construct the pretzel dough in a stand mixer with the hook attachment. Uh, looks like a pirate had Parkinson's. Now you can do this by hand, but this makes it a hell of a lot easier. To which we'll add four cups of all-purpose flour, one tablespoon of sugar, two teaspoons of salt, one and a half cups of room temperature filtered water, four tablespoons of melted unsalted butter, and one packet or two and a half teaspoons of yeast. Oh, and uh, if you're using the regular packeted yeast, you will have to bloom it in the sugar water solution. However, I like to use instant yeast. You can add three to the dry ingredients and not worry about blooming it. I'll put a link in the description if you need it. Combine on medium-low speed. Now we're going to have to knead the dough, which thankfully we can do in the bowl. So just turn the mixer to high and let it knead it for five minutes. Cover it in a tea towel and let it rise and rest for one hour. Now before we tend to the dough, let's preheat the oven to 425 degrees. Spriggan's the Deut, the number you're looking for is 220 degrees Celsius. Alright, it's been an hour, our dough should be done rising. Okay, first things first, punch it down. And using the knife, cut this into eight equal pieces. Form these pieces into little balls like this. Now it's time to form them into pretzel knots. And roll it into a rope. Now, once you know it, it reaches over a foot in length, let's tie it into a knot. So just take the rope of dough, loop it back, place one end off-center away from where it started, and do the same with the other side. Boom. Now, we can't just throw them into the oven just yet. They need to undergo a special alkali bath. That what gives it its unique pretzely texture. Take a straight side of saute pan, fill it with water, set it. Set the heat to high so we can boil it. And let's add half a cup or so of baking soda. Mix it together until it dissolves. Once the baking soda has dissolved, let the water come to a boil. Using one of these whatchamacallits, let's dunk our pretzels in and leave them in there for about 30 seconds. Don't forget to do the other side. Once it's done, transfer it to a sheet lined with parchment paper. Next, make some egg wash. Just crack an egg in a tablespoon of water, beat it together, and boom, egg wash. Now let's take this egg wash and brush it onto our pretzels. Happy pretzels. The egg wash will accomplish two things. It'll give our pretzels a nice shiny look, and it'll be the glue for our pretzel salt. Now you can choose to not use salt, but if you do, you're worse than hit Stalin. You're worse than Stalin. So just sprinkle the pretzel salt onto our pretzels. Stash them in the oven and let them cook for 15 minutes. And voila, a lovely soft baked pretzel. Served with some spicy mustard and some beer. We can which. And to top it off, 
some traditional German music. Looks like a thought, maybe not. This has been Jay's Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning it this time. <laughs>